हॅलो आय एम डॉक्टर मंजिरी वळसंकर डायरेक्टर भिडे हॉस्पिटल टेस्टिव बेबी सेंटर नवी पेठ पुणे टुडे लेट्स टॉक अबाउट डोनर सीमेन इंट्रायुट्राइन इन्सेमिनेशन ऑर डोनर सीमेन आर यू आय नाव वेन एव्हर अ लेडी कॅनॉट कन्सीव वी थरली एक्झामिन बोथ द पार्टनर्स वी ऑल्सो डू द सीमेन अनालिसिस ऑफ द हजबंड अँड सर्टन ब्लड टेस्ट अँड सोनोग्राफीज ऑफ द वाईफ it has been noted that around 10% of the patients do not have any problem in the female partner but can have sperm counts as low as 0 million now these patients are called as azoospermic males whenever a male partner is diagnosed as azoospermia or sperm count 0 then we classify this azoospermia as obstructive or non obstructive azoospermia in which obstructive azoospermias can be given their own biological child by tisa pisa as we have previously discussed while the non obstructive or the central azoospermia males unfortunately have to go ahead with the donor semen iui program whenever the lady is screened and her ovarian reserve is satisfactory we can subject the lady to a iui cycle in which she is given oral medicines for the first 5 days of her menstrual period then followed by serial sonographies to check how well is her follicle developing and medicines or injections are given to rupture the follicle once the follicle is ruptured it is confirmed with the help of a ovulation sonography that the follicle has ruptured and it is at this time that the donor iui can be performed before going ahead for a donor iui the legal formalities and the legal consents is an absolute must which are taken in the ivf center itself husband and wife both have to consent to this donor iui procedure and with all legalities absolutely up to the mark the donor semen it can be used various parameters have to be checked before using the donor semen such as the blood group color of hair color of skin color of eyes height of the biological father apart from this the donor semen comes with a certificate which is absolutely a valid certificate which gives all the details of the donor sperms which are used including all the serological tests which are negative and sickle cell anemia and thalassemia testing which is also mandatory to be negative once the donor semen is used for a intrauterine insemination 15 days medicines are given and after 15 days the pregnancy test which is known as beta hcg is done to ascertain the pregnancy so in case you are a male who whose sperm count is zero and needs a donor iui to be done do not worry go to a center which is doing it absolutely legally and ethically and you shall also receive a certificate of the donor insemination which can be maintained as records with the patient thank you